Let's see. So let's do that and then quote a text. And why is it changing everything? <sighs> Undo that. Hi. So this is video mostly for my staff at Hostel Management. But if you're like me, online WYSIWYG editors can be incredibly frustrating, particularly when the text has been copy and pasted from another word processor into an online WYSIWYG editor. Some unexpected things happen in terms of the formatting and things just don't make sense. I'm going to explain to you in a very non-technical way uh, what's actually happening behind the scenes and so it'll perhaps make a little bit more sense. First of all, when you look at a word processing document, what we see looks like this, but what you don't see is a bunch of hidden characters that are behind the scenes that look perhaps a little bit more like this. And in the word processing document here, it shows that there's a paragraph at the beginning, and each of these are line feeds. But these are not paragraphs. Now when you copy and paste this into a WYSIWYG editor, those paragraphs become present at the for the entire block of text. So like when I want to say here apply a quoted text to this, it's doing it to the entire block of text that was copy and pasted into the WYSIWYG editor because it sees this entire section as an entire paragraph. So that's because this is a paragraph and these are only line breaks in between the paragraph. And the quoted text applies to the entire paragraph. I can actually see that by inspecting the element here. And then I'll come over here and you will see Right here, I have the beginning of the paragraph, and then down here, it's still the same paragraph. There's a P tag right at the beginning, and then this is all the same paragraph. So when I apply the quoted text formatting, it's going to apply it to the entire paragraph. So here's the way around that. So what I'm going to do here is I need to take out these line breaks and put in an actual paragraph tag using the WYSIWYG editor. So if I come right here, this was the one that I was trying to do the quoted text to, I'll do it again, and it's doing all of this. So that's saying that there's a continuous paragraph all the way down to here. So I need to take out, you know, the continuousness of that paragraph right here. I need to break it right here. So I'm going to undo that, and I'll actually come in here, and we can watch it over here also. And I'm going to say, okay, right here, I want to remove those line breaks. And you can see them being removed up here. All right, and now when I actually put in a new carriage return right here in the WYSIWYG editor, it's now created a new paragraph only for this particular section. So now when I come over here and I do the quoted text, it's only applying to that one paragraph. So basically what I'm doing is I'm removing the line breaks and substituting it with an actual paragraph tag from within the WYSIWYG editor. I hope that makes sense. I hope it eliminates a lot of frustration, particularly for my staff, because I know trying to go from a Microsoft Word document or actually, frankly, any word processing document that does not use HTML and pasting it into an HTML editor can be fraught with frustration. So hopefully that'll help. Thanks for watching.